Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I literally just got done watching a video by Linda Donald about using Distress Oxide inks on jelly plates. So I remembered that on uh, she was doing it on photo paper and I remembered that I had done it, I don't know, a couple months ago where I did, um, I can't remember what kind of paint I used, but I used photo paper. And I remember that I had this stuff put away and I thought, oh, maybe I shouldn't do this on the jelly plate. <laughs> I remember having put this stuff away and thought maybe I should bring it out and uh, take a look at it. Let's go for, further in. All right, so I know there's a glare on it because it's inside the um, sheet protector, but I wanted to bring these out so you could see what, you know, I. She said she thought some of her stuff was a fail. I did not see failure at all. I was very excited about the way her results turned out because, let me get this last one out here, because that I, this is what I do with things that, you know, other people might not do with their papers, is once the photo paper dried, I took a Posca pen and I drew all kinds of, flower parts, you know, like the heads of a flower or maybe the leaves or petals of flowers. And it's all in photo paper. Oh, you can't see that one because that one's got a glare on it, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't matter because it's got white on it. It's not a glare. Okay, so I, I did all these and that's what's in each one of these pockets is I did different colors on the jelly plate. This one is, uh, I think, more uh, teal blue. This one is shades of light green and yellow. Then I, no, I don't want to tilt this because they'll fall out. These are purples, pinks, uh, deep purple. This is kind of a lilac-y, uh, pink, orange, yellow. And then I did, I think these are more like a red-orange color. And I really love my results from doing this printing on the photo paper. My niece, Jennifer, uh, I think somebody, she told me somebody gave her a bunch of boxes of photo paper and she spent the money and mailed them to me, which I'm so excited about because that's what I did with my photo paper that she sent to me and I still have like tons of it left. So what I want to do is I want to try my FW inks. I think these, I did these with acrylics, but I, I want to try the FW inks like Linda did with her um, oxides and give it a try and see what happens. But, you know, you may think it's a fail. It's not really a fail because look at all the things you can do with those things. I mean, you know, it, I made these, and, made these and then stored them all away. Well, let's go back down again. <laughs> made these and stored them all away for another day. And until I saw Linda's video, I forgot that I had made all of these. And I think maybe now it's time for me to do some kind of a project and incorporate these guys into a project. But had I not seen Linda's video, I would not have pulled these out and taken a, another look at these and remember doing them. So, you know, what you think is a fail, another person sees huge possibilities in. And I saw huge possibilities in Linda's video. I just love that kind of thing. And I'm a doodler by nature. So any kind of paper like that, that I think might be ugly in the beginning, blossoms into something else at a later time because you you um, figure out a way to make lemonade, uh, lem lemonade out of lemons. And you, know, you just find cool things to do with your stuff. And when I saw Linda's video, I was reminded that, you know, I could make wonderful things out of things that um, I kind of thought were a fail. And I think that's what I had done with these is I did not get quite the results I had hoped for. And so I decided I wasn't wasting that photo paper that somebody gifted to me. I was going to do cool stuff with it. So here is what I did with it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some jelly printing on photo paper with my FW inks and see how well it goes. I have not used the FW inks on jelly, on my jelly plate, so I'm not really sure what's gonna happen, but like Linda, it's gonna be an experiment and I'm gonna give it a shot. While I was looking for a plain photo paper, I forgot that I had set these aside 
And these are the results of my photo paper printing that I did a couple months ago. Let me that um that I cut my stuff out of. And I think I did these with acrylics. If I remember correctly, this one. This one I did with pink. And here's another one on the photo paper that um, I just did the background. I wasn't really happy, happy with it. So I decided to doodle on it and this is what I got. Here's another one with photo paper. I doodled on it. And the great thing is, is that when you doodle on photo paper that's already got prints on it, I already got um, painting on it. The Posca pens do really, really well. And so do Sharpie markers. They do great on this, as long as there's some other coating on the paper. I, I really like this one. And so the rest of these are just some of the print results that I got with, I, I'm thinking these really are acrylic paints. And all of this, every bit of this is photo paper. I think these two were cut from the same. A lot of them are cut from the same pieces. I was trying to cut them into manageable sizes. That's that. There's the, there's three pages of pink. Here's the lavender or purple, lilac, whatever you want to call it. And this is a mixture. Now this is the one that I wasn't as happy with as the others, but I see possibilities here because I can doodle the daylights out of it so that the background really won't matter or the background will enhance enhance whatever it is I doodle on top. And then I have, let me turn this upside down. Then I have one, three of these that are yellow that are cut from the same piece of paper. And then here I did, I went a little orange crazy. <laughs> Here's all kinds of oranges. And then there's my blank photo paper that I used. Oh, got some stuck to it. Um, just like Linda, she made a comment real quick and, and she said, oh, they're sticking together. Um, absolutely. When you print on photo paper, you need to make sure you hang it up right away or put it in a flat surface where it's not touching other photo paper because it absolutely sticks to itself. Um, I made the mistake a couple times of doing that and I found out the hard way and some of the prints that I really liked accidentally stuck together and I could not get them apart. And when I pulled them, it ruined them because it just tore the daylights out of them. So these are the results that I got with photo paper. I just thought you might like to see, you know, the possibilities. If you have leftover photo paper or someone gifts you a box of photo paper, use it, play with it, do things with it because it's a great um, surface for doing jelly prints. I mean, it, it takes the color really well. And I, I just, I have really enjoyed my results with the photo paper. So I think, like I said, because I don't have any pink FW ink, I don't think. So I think I did these really with acrylics. And what I did was I just sprayed the daylights out of them with water and kept going over them until, you know, there was enough coverage on the whole thing that um, it, it gave me results and, and really the reason I think it really is acrylics is because it has texture to it. You can kind of feel it. It's a little bit bumpy. It's not smooth. So I think these, I, I remember these are done with acrylics. Anyway, so I just wanted to throw that out there. And what I'll do is I'll take these and I'm going to jelly print these with the FW Delroni inks and see what kind of results I get.
Okay, so I promised I would come back with the results from the um, jelly printing session that I did real quick yesterday. I had intended to post this video last night, but I just could not stay awake long enough to do it. So here's my mop-up paper from the... Um, this... What a difference, huh? The red did not translate to here very well. Or maybe I have it turned this way. Maybe it should go this way. Oh, it's this way. Sorry. Either way, the red did not. Got a little smidge. But nevertheless, um, this will probably get used as background paper in a junk journal or a glue book or something. So it will not get thrown away. This <clears throat> will get doodled on and Maybe I will reprint a lighter color on top of the dark, or I could say, I don't know. We'll just wait and see. But still, even though it looks kind of um, dark and dismal <laughs> right now, it will perk up later. I will be sure to perk it up. <laughs> There's the mop-up paper from one other time. Uh, I think it was the mop-up from this one. Looks like night and day, doesn't it? Um, this will get printed over or more um, jelly printing on this one because there's just not enough paint on there to suit me. This one, I really like this one. Um, I see things in here and will doodle on it. Um, there's something on there. I will doodle on it and this will be perfectly fine. This was great. They look pretty cool. I'm very pleased with the way the uh, Delroni inks did with the uh, jelly print. So I want to thank Linda Donald for doing her video the other day, um, doing her experiments with um, her Distress Oxides, which I don't own any of. Um, but I, I'm very pleased with my results, and I will absolutely use my acrylic inks on my jelly plate anytime at will because they actually do come out very well.